Hi again everybody, it's Friday and I'm back and I'm feeling really, really good. And I'm standing down here at the Cliffs Road property and I'm going to tell you why in a minute. But, but I want to, to, to flip to the other news you heard earlier on this week that in May we have our gala. We're so excited to have a gala back. It's night of a, a hundred stars, as you've uh, almost a thousand stars, but hundred stars. Um, and uh, we're, we're, yeah, we're uh, organizing a fantastic evening. But how does that link in with where I'm standing? Well, I'm going to, in a second, I'm going to explain in greater detail. But let me just tell you, the fundraising objective of the gala is going to be the Innisfree Farmhouse project. Now come with me and I'll explain what that entails and all the fabulous ideas we have already um, and then maybe ideas that will come forth from you. So back in 1939 the founders actually purchased a farm just up the road from where the school is today and they, because of their Irish roots, they called it Innisfree. Now Innisfree is a name that features in a poem by famous Irish poet W.B. Yeats, great poet. And it, he has a poem uh, entitled The Lake Isle of Innisfree. First line is, I will arise and go now, um, go to Innisfree. And they loved the poem and they loved the, the, the notion. The poem goes on about peace and the, the bees and, 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 and growing things. So. They loved that whole notion. And that farm functioned right through the war. They, they provided all the veg, the milk, the eggs um, for the school and for others. Um, and it carried on until about 1962, I think. So, so there's, there's great history of hands-on farming. And that's what we want to tap in into with the, uh, with the Innisfree farmhouse notion. So this will be all hands-on learning down here. Like we've got fruit trees which we'll cultivate, we'll, we'll, we'll process that fruit into jams. We have already have our woodworking facility down here and we're going to en enhance that and, and, and build on that, literally. Um, we will, we'll have chickens and we'll have eggs and, and we'll have bees and, and we'll harvest our honey and we'll, have, we'll grow veggies and we'll do all sorts of things. And incorporated into all of that, we'll have a classroom in this building here and there is a kitchen already for, for, for all the activities needed there, but we'll have a farm stand of sorts and we'll, and we'll, we'll, we'll teach kids how to run a small business in, in the whole process. So you can see there are some, some just terrific elements that, that uh, the potential is so great for some really excited, exciting and valid hands-on learning opportunities for our young people. So I'm completely, as you can tell, excited by the idea and I hope you will be too so more to come on that you'll hear a lot more about the Innisfree farmhouse project thank you